Hey, sweet friends, it's Miss Johnson. Um, I have a really sweet book I'm going to share with you today called Norman, the Slug with the Silly Shell. You're probably wondering, what's the difference in a slug and a snail? A slug doesn't have a shell. Sometimes in the morning when it's wet outside, you can see a slug in the grass. It's like a snail that doesn't have a shell. And he leaves a slimy little trail behind him whenever he walks and he goes, or slithers, and he goes really, really slow. Now, I'm reading you this story today for the letter S, because that's the letter we're on this week. And that letter makes this sound. Everybody do that with me. S, 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 s. Right. Now, first of all, let's talk about the parts of the book. What part is this? I know you know. Yes, it's the cover of the book. And what part is this? Yes, this is the spine. The spine holds the book together. Very good, guys. Now, who wrote this book? The author wrote the book. Her name is right down here in the bottom. It's Sue Hendra. And who colored the sweet pictures in this book? Yes, the illustrator. That's Miss Johnson's favorite, the illustrator, because that's what I would like to do, color all the pictures in the book. So let's see what happens with Norman on his adventure. Norman is a slug, and he wants to be like the rest of the snails. So let's see what happens with him. So fun, guys. Here we go. Norman the slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. They are amazing. Look at them. Here's Norman over here. Remember, he doesn't have a shell. He wants to be like the snails. <clears throat> But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. They weren't real kind to Norman. Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left, left out. Sadly, he slithered off into the moonlight. Norman was sad. Were those snails kind to Norman? They were not kind. Poor Norman. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. But then, guys, wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all. I wonder what Norman is thinking about. Let's think with Norman for a second. Hmm, what could he be thinking of? Let's see. Finding a shell wasn't as easy as it seemed. Some of them were too bouncy. Look at this shell he's trying to make on a tennis ball. He said it was too bouncy. And one of them was too noisy. Look at this shell he tried to make on an alarm clock. And one was already taken. Look up at that shell. What's already in that shell up there? It's already taken. There's a worm in there. Norman needed time to think. So let's all think with Norman again. He's just really got to think about it and see what he needs to do. Hmm. Let's see what happens. All right. <gasps> Ta-da! A shell! Look at Norman's shell. Where did he make a shell out of? It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. Now he could join the snails at last. He has a donut shell. It is pretty though. Let's see. Norman loved being a snail and the snails loved Norman's new shell. Look at him right there in the middle. They loved his new shell. 
But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly, there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out! Bird! cried the snails in panic. Slither for your lives or we're going to end up as supper. Oh my goodness. So that bird was going to try and eat the snails. Look at that. They were scared. But the bird was not interested in the snails. He was interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up, up, and away. Higher and higher into the sky. Oh no, what could Norman do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime. Lots and lots of slime. Remember, guys, I told you that a snail makes a slimy trail when, it, I mean, a slug makes a slimy trail when he walks along? That's what he did. He made lots and lots of slime. Norman did the only thing he knew how to do. With a slither and a slither, a slip and a slide, Norman was free. Thank goodness. But he was falling now, faster and faster and faster, until, uh-oh, y'all, plonk, Norman, Norman, are you okay, asked the snails. Look where he landed, on a clothesline. Wow, said Norman, flying was great. I love it. If only I had some wings. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Ta-da! Look what Norman made wings out of. So silly. The end. Look at the sweet picture behind here of all the snails and the purple grass. So Norman actually got to be a snail after all with his silly donut shell. And then he wanted to be a bird. So he got to be a bird and he used the underwear, the purple underwear, as his wings. I thought that was a really sweet story today, guys, for the letter S. And I hope you enjoyed it. I love you. I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.